Are there differences in sexual response between men and women? What sexual secrets can your dreams reveal? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. There are differences in sexual response between men and women, but individual variability is key. Although there are similarities in the phases of desire, arousal, and orgasm, individual experiences can vary widely due to biological, hormonal, and psychological factors. Dreams can reveal sexual secrets, desires, fears, or subconscious concerns. Sometimes dreams may reflect what a person experiences or desires in their sexual life, but they should not be interpreted literally. Seduction games. Seduction and flirting are key components of foreplay, as they increase sexual tension and anticipation, setting the stage for a more intense and satisfying sexual experience. Sensual aromatherapy. Using essential oils with aphrodisiac scents, such as lavender, vanilla, or jasmine, during foreplay can stimulate the senses and increase the feeling of relaxation and well-being. Sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction can affect both men and women and includes problems such as erectile dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, and anorgasmia. Treatments and therapies are available to address these issues. Sexual empowerment. Actively participating in foreplay can empower women by allowing them to express their sexual desires and needs openly and without inhibition, promoting greater self-confidence in themselves and their sexuality. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is an important part of the human experience and can manifest in various forms, including physical contact, erotic stimulation, emotional affection, and shared intimacy. Sexual response cycle. The traditional model of the sexual response cycle includes the phases of excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, although sexual experience can vary widely among individuals. Sexuality and mental health. Sexuality is closely related to mental health and emotional well-being. Issues such as depression, anxiety, and stress can affect a person's sexual life. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not stop with age. Many older people enjoy an active and satisfying sex life, and it is important to challenge negative stereotypes about sexuality in old age. Sexually transmitted diseases can affect people of all ages, races, sexual orientations, and genders. They do not discriminate and can affect anyone who engages in unprotected sexual activity. Shower positions. Some women enjoy the intimacy provided by sexual positions in the shower, such as standing against the wall or the waterfall position, adding an element of adventure to the encounter. Skin fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by touching, caressing, or even licking another person's skin. This fetish may be related to tactile sensation and physical intimacy. Sleep disorders and erectile dysfunction. Sleep apnea, a disorder characterized by interruptions in breathing during sleep, has been associated with an increased risk of erectile dysfunction in some studies, suggesting a connection between sleep quality and sexual health. Smoking and erectile dysfunction. Smoking can significantly increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction due to the effects of tobacco on blood vessels and blood flow to the penis. In South Korea, Sexual education focuses on preventing internet and pornography addiction, as well as promoting healthy relationships and consent in a context of high academic and social pressure. STDs in animals. Although less common, some STD-like diseases occur in animals, such as chlamydia in koalas and canine venereal disease in dogs. In countries like Sweden and Finland, sexual education policies based on the positive sexual health approach have been implemented, promoting sexual well-being, autonomy, and respect for diversity. Taboo and acceptance. 
Some cultures may consider certain fetishes taboo, while in others they are more accepted or even celebrated. This reflects cultural differences in the perception of sexuality and individual expression. Technique. Differences. There is no correct technique for female masturbation, as each woman is unique in what they find pleasurable. Some women prefer clitoral stimulation, while others enjoy vaginal penetration or a combination of both. Technology and sexuality. Technology has transformed how we experience sexuality, from dating apps to high-tech sex toys and online content. The effect of medication on libido. Some medications, such as antidepressants and hormonal contraceptives, can affect people's libido and sexual function. It's important to speak with a healthcare professional if you experience changes in your sexual desire as a result of medication. The impact of media on perceptions of sexuality. The media, including television, movies, and pornography, can influence perceptions of sexuality and create unrealistic expectations about sex. The importance of foreplay. Foreplay, including kissing, caressing, and other forms of sexual stimulation before penetration, is essential for increasing arousal and pleasure for both men and women. The importance of self-exploration. Knowing and exploring one's own body is essential for a healthy sexuality. Self-exploration can help people understand their preferences, limits, and sexual desires. The power of eroticism in creativity. Eroticism is not limited to sexual activity. It can also fuel artistic and literary creativity. Many artists have found inspiration in sexual themes to create meaningful and expressive works. The role of fantasy in sexuality. Sexual fantasies are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life. Exploring fantasies consensually and safely can add variety and excitement to sexual life. Time of day. Women's preferences for sexual positions may vary depending on the time of day, with some feeling more energized and adventurous in the morning, while others prefer the intimacy of nighttime encounters. Toys for G-spot stimulation. Some vibrators are designed with a specific curvature to stimulate the G-spot, a highly erogenous zone on the front wall of the vagina, which can provide more intense and pleasurable orgasms. Toys for the P-spot. Just as women have the G-spot, men have the P-spot, a highly erogenous zone within the rectum. Sex toys designed for P-spot stimulation can provide intense prostate orgasms. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past, but no longer experiences them. Use of accessories. Some women enjoy incorporating sexual accessories, such as handcuffs, blindfolds, or erotic toys, into their sexual encounters, which can add variety and excitement to usual positions. Use of sensual cosmetics. Cosmetic products such as massage oils, flavored lubricating gels, and scented candles can be fun and sensory elements to incorporate into foreplay, stimulating multiple senses at the same time. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.